when we think about water futures, we're often talking about where we're going or how we're gonna get there or when we're gonna get there or when to. What we don't often talk about is who's gonna be in the room at that particular moment and who's gonna be inheriting those kinds of futures that we're making decisions about now. And so the Next Generation Basin Workshop was really about getting a couple of people together who are gonna be those futures and be decision makers in those futures to co-create a vision for how we wanna to work together and what that future is gonna look like. The Next Generation Basin event, we've brought together a bunch of different people from across federal and state governments, from academia, from First Nations groups, from industry, from private industry as well as primary, bringing in NGOs, all to have a conversation about what kind of future we wanna be co-creating together. We often see people in positions of power who know each other, who call each other up really easily. Those networks, they have to start somewhere. This is an opportunity for us to work in an interdisciplinary way, to really actively break down silos that we often talk about separating different industries different departments and for us to really walk the walk when it comes to breaking down silos and working together across industries. The Next Generation Basin event was a couple of days getting people into Canberra in person, which we found so exciting, the privilege to be able to meet together in person again. The first part of coming together was to really meet on country. We got an opportunity to go out with Uncle Tyrone Bell and explore Black Mountain, Black Mountain Peninsula, and all of the different stories that come together here in Canberra in this meeting place. It was a wonderful opportunity to get outside together, to really connect with the waterways that connect us both culturally and geographically, and to really start to emphasize the importance of First Nation stories in the work that we're doing in the basin. We also then came together for a workshop. The workshop had a wonderful introduction by our facilitators, but also Andrew McConville, the Chief Executive at the Murray-Darling Basin Authority. He gave us some opening remarks to kind of start generating all of these sorts of tricky questions around how we're gonna govern the Murray-Darling Basin moving into the future. Together, what we really created today was a different framework for how to work together. We've walked away with ways to connect online, offline, in particular thematic areas, in areas outside of what our disciplines might be, with a real focus on staying connected and staying collaborative. For me, the Next Generation Basin event was really about actively working together, actively starting to break down silos and really contributing to the future that we all want to see in the Basin. I've been absolutely blown away by the participants that have come along today and yesterday with the goodwill, the enthusiasm, the intelligence in that room to really start actively making a choice to be able to work together across disciplines, across industries and across geographic locations in the Basin as well, to really contribute to a future that we all want to co-create, that we all want to be working and living in in years to come.